What's up, grappling fans? My name's John Evans, and thanks for joining me again today for another Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournament match. Today's match I am really excited about because this one comes from my friend and training partner, Isaac Doderline. And if you haven't heard that name, do not worry, because you will shortly know that name, because he is one of the most entertaining fighters I think I have ever seen. Just phenomenal jujitsu. He seems to be comfortable wherever the fight goes. It's guard, if it's on top, you know, even if you pass his guard, he just seems okay from every position, which is just crazy to me. He's also super young, so he's got tons and tons of more time to improve his craft. Uh, and I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to make the prediction right now. You heard it first, BJJ Breakdown. Within the next five years, Isaac Doderline, if he sticks with the training as vigorously as he has lately, he will be black belt world champion. I'm going out on a limb. I'm saying it. He's, his jiu-jitsu is that good. So uh, let's go ahead and look at his first match in the absolute. This is at the Nationals in the Gi, and he'd already mowed through all of his competition at weight. So he decided to throw his hat in the ring for the absolute, which is very commendable because I believe he's a feather... Maybe light feather, but I think he did feather for this, uh, for the Nationals. So, definitely one of the lighter weight classes, and then going up into the Absolute, you know you're going to fight much, much larger opponents. So, uh, that's very inspiring. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right to the match. And here we've got Isaac in the blue gi, closest to the camera. His opponent uh, <laughs> definitely looks to be uh, a little bit bigger than Isaac, so we will see how this one pans out. I think the ref is having some kind of issue with the scoreboard, but now he's going to start him up and yeah, and stops him. I think, yeah, there, there was something with the scoreboard in this one, and they're trying to fix that now, and I guess it's going, so... They are going to touch hands, and it looks like they both try to pull guard, but Isaac, now allowing his opponent to pull guard, uh, tries to get this knee through the middle pass, but his opponent is not blocking this cross face, and that can, yep, and there he goes right there. Isaac's going to go for the club pass, and then his opponent tries to get around the leg with this arm, but Isaac uses that as an underhook, and then he goes knee through the middle. His opponent tries to stop the guard pass, so he goes to turtle, and Isaac just jumps all over his back. And now he's got the seatbelt grip. Wow, that was a quick back take. Uh, seatbelt grip right here, and I think he does not have this far hook in. So no points yet for Isaac, because you need to get that second hook in between your opponent's legs to get those four points. So uh, no points yet, but his opponent, I don't like what he's doing here. He's more worried about the hook and the points than he is the choke. And you can see Isaac is starting to attack the choke here. So, and his, see his arm comes off over here. The more you do that, the less you're going to be able to hand fight on that choke. So I don't know if that's the best idea. Of course, you don't want to get the points scored on you, but being submitted is not fun as well. And so there he overcommits. He's pushing it away, and Isaac is going to go on this choke right now, and he, he shoots the leg right over the shoulder, and his opponent's trying to spin out to relieve the pressure, but oh man, that is it. Isaac gets the tap there with the bow and arrow. That was beautiful. Well done, Isaac. Good job. And that's exactly why I want you guys to see who this fighter is, because all his fights are just crazy. And this was the absolute division, so that was his first fight. We will be back with some more fights from Isaac Doderline. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name's John Evans. Until next time, goodbye.